si atakalia bada lada bara devo si atakalia God of the heavens King of all the earth You are great O oh God You are great God of my righteousness My rock and fortress You are great O oh God You are great God of the heavens God of the heavens King of all the earth you are great oh God you are great oh God of my righteousness of my righteous rock and my fortress you are great you are great oh God God of the heaven, God of the heaven, King of all the earth, earth. oh, you are great, you are great. Oh, 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 God, you are great, oh, God of my righteousness, God of my righteousness, my rock and my fortress.
Hallelujah, Hallelujah, You are great. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. hallelujah.
This is the International Pastors and Partners Conference with Pastor Chris. Hallelujah! Glory to God. Thank you so much. You may be seated. Thank you very much for your very kind welcome. I would like to begin by expressing appreciation to our pastor and our father for the opportunity to speak to you today about the healing to the nation's mandate, which is of priority to our man of God and to the Lord. And I thank pastor for the opportunity to serve as the director of the healing school and for the opportunity to see so many miracles. I would like to acknowledge highly esteemed members of the Central Executive Council of Love World. I would like to say thank you to them and to the Chairman of IPPC 2020, highly esteemed Sekjen, Pastor K. Adeshino. Thank you to all our zonal pastors, ministry directors, and all our leaders. Thank you especially to the DOP for such an amazing program. Glory to God. Now, just two weeks ago, we were getting ready for the November Healing Streams Live Healing Services with our man of God. Exactly two weeks ago on Friday, we're getting ready for a very special program. And through the healing streams, we reached every nation in the world. We had such impact with countless testimonies, miracles, and so much that happened as a result of the program. And one of the things that we understand is that the healing streams must continue to flow. Amen. I remember the young man who had the 20% of his intestines left. One of the things he said, he said he prayed to God that the healing stream should continue to flow. And that is our responsibility as partners to ensure that the healing streams always flow. Praise the Lord. Can we just watch a short video before we go on? Saving lives 
Hallelujah. Thank you so much for your part in taking healing to the nations. The Lord said to our man of God to take healing to the nations of the world. And we have been a part of it all these years. And most especially through the healing streams, live healing services. Like I said, last two weeks we had a wonderful program and we had so many miracles, so much penetration. This time around, we really went into every city, setting up healing centers. And I want to say thank you to all of you for being a part of Healing Streams. Can you give yourselves a round of applause? <laughs> Glory be to God. Now, today, well, from, from Monday, so that would be uh, seven plus, 12 days, we've been having the... And what we do in the Festival of Miracles is we know that we don't have the opportunities during the healing streams. I mean, they are coming in from all over the world. So we take out another 14 days to just share testimonies and testimonies and testimonies. And some of them, Pastor actually mentioned here um, on the days as he ministered. Now, there's one we just want to show of a lady who was paralyzed and wheelchair bound since 2018. And while sitting in her home, her own home, the power of God reached her and she was healed. So we'd like to show you this video now. Hallelujah. We're so grateful to God for this special broadcast today. But as we begin to wrap up, we have a special yes, call. Yes, we have callers actually. Hello. Okay, callers, that's true. Hi. Welcome Hi. to the program. How are you doing today? Thank you. Okay, wonderful. Please kindly tell us your names and where you're calling from today. Okay, I'm Moses J and she's Geraldine J. Tukwa. And we are calling from Liberia, West Africa. Wow, okay, so we've got Moses and Geraldine from Liberia. So please tell us what's the testimony? She's my mother and been suffering from spinal cord problem. And it was on an uh, evening when I came home, I met her visiting the live Bible Christ movie on King's Chat. And then I asked them what are people doing here and say, we're looking at the pastor. Pastor is going to heal your mom today. I said, ah, ah, okay, me are in the room with your, continue with your video. So I was inside laying down and then I just heard her shouting in the living room. <laughs> Everybody started crying, she and my yeah, yeah. friend. I said, what's happening? They said, Moses, you can look at the movie. I said, what? He said, Pastor Chris has healed your mother. Ooh, said, hallelujah. Oh, so she woke up and then she started walking. Wow. wow. Walking. So and this is your mom so before. Wow. I said, wow. Wow. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Wow. So she can swim better. Yes. Glory wow. to God. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, glory to you, to you alone. Glory in that moment, 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 how long were you in that wow. condition, ma'am? Because we see your picture on the screen. You were sitting in that walker. Wow. Since 2018. Wow. I was beaten wow. by a people and they broke my spinal cord. Since 2018. They did a story for the first time. I couldn't sit down. I was using wheelchairs. I couldn't do anything of myself. I couldn't that this at all. I couldn't even stand at all to them stand. Oh, hallelujah. I, I would lie down on the floor to eat food. They would throw me like a baby to carry me to the bathroom. Beat me. I saw it in the room, carry me to the room like a baby and put clothes on me. Oh God, I thank Jesus. Thank you. They would throw me like a baby and carry me in the car for treatment at the hospital. 
I couldn't feel my legs, my legs were numb, my body from here up, everywhere was numb, I couldn't feel. Even something juking me, I will not feel it as juking me. Oh I couldn't feel until I come against, I come across healing stream. Hallelujah. Congratulations, wow. Geraldine. Wow. God is faithful. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You sat on that thing for four years. Congratulations, Geraldine. We celebrate with you. So We're about rounding off the program. What would you like to say to a man of God, Pastor Chris? Look at that. She's standing. She couldn't do that for four years. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. Do you have a word for the man of God, Pastor Chris? I want to tell the almighty God, thank you for Pastor Chris and his family. I also want to say thank you to Pastor Chris for answering to the call of God. Because if Pastor Chris, it was not new to the one I'm going to be today. I was going to be dead. The ambassador of Jesus Christ, Pastor Chris, indeed, you are the ambassador of Jesus Christ. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What a miracle. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now you can imagine we've been having people calling in like this every day for the past 12 days. Every day, every day, it's a festival of miracles, glory to God. And we're so thankful that um, you have been a part of it. And I'm sure that, how many of you, you were part of Healing Streams and you know somebody that got healed? Yes, so many people, glory be to God. Now we're going to be having, we, we, we want to share some testimonies about the Healing Streams and then we're going to talk to you what we're going to be doing between now and the next one, glory to God, because the, the next one is coming up early in the year 2023, and we're making our preparations already. Glory to God. Now, first of all, I'm going to be talking to Brother Mario. Brother Mario got healed of burns. I'm sure some of you will remember him. He got healed of burns um, in Australia, back home in Australia. And the beautiful thing about Healing Streams is we're all over the world. Like we said, no matter the distance, the liquid love flows to the nations of the world. People are touched in their homes, in their cars, in the hospitals. Praise the Lord. And he was healed. And we have a program that we run with those who have received their miracles. We call it Project Decapolis. And um, I'll read to you from Mark, the book of Mark, chapter 5 and verse 18. Glory to God. It says, and when he was coming to the ship, he that had been possessed with the devil prayed him that he might be with him. Howbeit Jesus suffered him not, but saith unto him, go home to thy friends and tell them how great things the Lord had done for thee and how he had had compassion on thee. And he departed and began to publish in Decapolis how great things Jesus had done for him and all men did marvel. Now we ask those that have gotten healed to use their testimony to glorify God. And many of them travel to, we, we give them a target of going to 10 cities. Decapolis means 10 cities. And many of them went to different places in their nations, sharing their testimonies and giving glory to God. I would like Brother Mario to talk to us about um, his testimony and then how you've been, you know, sharing your miracle with others around. So talk to us. Uh, thank you, Pastor. I feel so blessed to be here and also thank you to Pastor Chris and Thank you for all of you to be here supporting uh, this ministry that is come, come completely from heaven. So I gotta show it, um, try to tell you a little bit my testimony. Uh, happened to be that uh, after uh, my gymception, I, 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 um, 
I went to cook, and I was cooking steam fish, and that's um, the, about 10 liters of hot water spilled on, on my leg. Instantly, my leg was cooked, just like that, like steam fish. And then uh, I was there jumping and crying in every scene, but at the same time, I, I didn't forget the Lord. I still, uh, I still uh, uh, glorifying Jesus in the middle of my screaming. So to make it short, the story is that the uh, doctor says I didn't have no choice, but has to face it two years or skin craft. And that's... Uh, uh, that my accident happened on Wednesday. My pastor, John from Christ Embassy in, in Australia, he, um, uh, he picked me up from the hospital, and that, uh, then he says uh, on, on Saturday, we're going to have healing strings. Uh, and that, so I was in a healing center with him connected, and then I, uh, I was in my bedroom about 4 o'clock in the morning. I was totally devastated. I was crying, but I was already expecting the miracle so much because, you know, I live alone, I'm a single man, so uh, <laughs> I got to do everything by myself. I got the crutches next to me in the bed, and that was a big deal for me to wake up in the middle of the night and then all of that. So I, uh, there was no other hope. Just I know the only hope was that when Pastor Chris sent the prayer, healing, healing prayer, I gotta be ready with all my heart, believing that that is my miracle. So when Pastor Chris says, now I want to pray uh, for people around, around the world, and then I say, oh, 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 that, that's me. And then in, in, in my heart, in, in my desperation of, of getting that miracle, I say like this, oh, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, please, come here to my room in, in Australia. I need you. And then, uh, <sighs> sorry. And, and then, uh, when the five seconds of prayer happens, I remember the our man of God says, now, for the people around the world, put your hands, whatever is your problem, um, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, be healed. And then I believe it was from my heart. No hesitation, no doubt, no nothing. And then, yeah, the problem was that I was with the bandage on, on my leg, three big bandage. And then, uh, then uh, about a minute later, he said, Pastor Chris, now I want you, everybody who got a miracle, to check to see. If you, were, if you had the miracle. And then came in my mind, oh God, oh God, I, 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 I got to cut the bandage because, because no other choice. But then again, that, the, that was the moment of faith that I believe has to be done. You know, I, it's two ways, believe it or not believe it. It's, you cannot be in the, in the mirror. So I trust the Lord that I, I was healed. And then uh, I got the scissors and started to cut in the first bandage. But I got to be honest, I was scared. I closed my eyes and started to cut it bit by bit. And then when I saw the first bit of my, of my skin, very, very nice. And then like nothing happened, like a baby skin. I, I, I was oh, no more crying, I was jumping, and then I was so happy, and then I, I cut the other one, the more bigger one, the more big, big injury, and then I cut it, and I saw it, oh, oh, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you, Jesus, and then I cut the last one, I cut the last one, and also baby skin, and then so, and my joy so much beyond Word can explain so the power of the Lord comes directly into touch my, my the Lord. spirit. That's amazing. That's amazing. Yes. Brother Mario, can you tell us since you received your healing, how what have you been doing sharing the word? Talk to us about that. Yeah, uh, well, I am um, happy to be. <laughs> I gotta be, I gotta be honest because this is the way I am. You know, uh, when they were outreaches 
uh, when my chair was to evangelizing, <laughs> I used to hide. I used to didn't go. I'm sorry for that. But that before the miracle, before the Lord, pow, come with the Holy Spirit. Now, I tell you what, I go by myself sometimes. <laughs> and then, uh, uh, and then uh, I remember just the, at the end of the pandemic, where no one got the brain is to go to evangelize in the hospital, so pray for the sick. Okay, this is where the serious thing started. Uh, in, in my church, all uh, the church, the, that was the day when they got to go evangelizing outside the church. And then that moment in time, I remember that I say, no, 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 no. I don't want to go. I don't want to go to shopping centers. No, no, no. And they asked me, where you want to go? I got a strong feeling. I got that, that I got in my spirit. I gotta go to the hospital. And they say, I mean, outside the hospital. No, 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 no. Inside the hospital. And they say, no, 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 Mario. Nobody can get inside that. You know, because cause in Australia, you cannot bother the patients there, because the security officer they can get you arrested. Very strict. And then but I don't care. I was there in my heart and I asked the church, who's coming with me? Silence. No even one come with me. <laughs> but uh, there was one man. There was one man that I'm so grateful for Brother Majot, who, uh, because nobody come, so I go by myself. I get the rhapsodies. I go to start my car. Just before I left, Brother Mario come and say, Brother Mario, Brother Mario, I come with you. Okay, brother. So, Hallelujah. So, Brother Mario, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Please give a round of applause. Thank you so much. Now, you know, in our preparation for Healing Streams, we talked to you about the four Ps, prayer, publicity, preparing places, and partnership. And many of you were involved in the One Million Prayer Clouds where we prayed and made tremendous power available, directing it towards the Healing Streams. In terms of our publicity, we have, I want to talk to Sister Winnie. She's going to be talking to us about some of the outreaches that they held. She's from Christ Embassy Uganda, and she's a member of the Volunteer Medical Corps, where they had lots of hospital outreaches. So I'd like her to talk to us about that, please. Praise the Lord. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank our man of God, Reverend Dr. Chris Akilome, for the program, The Healing Streams, that has changed billions of lives all over the world. And I'd like to thank you, Pastor Ma, for this opportunity to have me on set. And I'd like to thank my zonal pastor, esteemed Pastor Luis Osaleme, for the opportunity he gave me to handle the healing school and the BMC. Praise the Lord. Um, the Healing Streams is all about sick people. So what we really usually do and best on in our zone is reach out to hospitals. I remember when it was during uh, that COVID fiasco era, we had lots of restrictions, but by the grace of God, we were able to enter all those hospitals and we had about 7,000 centers. So for this session, what we decided to do right from July, we did not dismantle the, the structures that we had set. Once the July session was over, we just continued from there. Praise the Lord. We already had structures set. I remember when we went to uh, two days to the program, I received a call from one of the members of the VAMC and told you, Pastor, have you seen the health directive that has been passed by the government? I said, what again? He said that all the hospitals, we cannot access them. I said, it's not possible. They've imagined a vain thing. Praise the Lord. I said, if we could do it when there, you know, there, was, there was a lot of curfew, we can do it now. So what I decided to do was to re-strategize. We increased the number of people that had to go to the hospitals because we had to go to ward by ward, uh, get data for them. Uh, we, we decided to go give them the flyers to tell them exactly how they are going to attend the program. And during that period, Pastor Ma, it was so amazing. People started calling us with several, several testimonies as a result of that, even much as we couldn't enter. But by the grace of God, we were able to enter 3,000 hospitals like that. Glory to God. So people had their phones and they were watching. I remember when I was in Antigua and Barbuda just a few weeks before the program, there is a person I found who said that she had a friend whose wife was very sick and had been in hospital for six months. She had cancer and they're just waiting for her to die. I said, we have come. The man of God has 
come. So I gave him a what? A healing magazine, a healing school magazine, and he took it. So on the first day, he forgot to connect, you know, called a friend to connect. Then on the, after he watched it, he said, oh my God, I need to call somebody, you know, I need to call my friend in, in the hospital and tell them to connect right now. So the next day, when they connected, guess what? As the lady was watching them, the, the, was watching Pastor Chris, she said, she said the lady sat, stood up for the first time in six months. That is in Antigua and Barbuda in a hospital. Praise the Lord. So the testimonies were so amazing. And what we plan when we are going for with the VMC members, we always plan for first timers. So after the hospital, after the healing streams, the next day we, we put buses, praise the Lord, by the hospitals to ferry people to church the next day. I remember this time around we had 316 first timers. People we are leaving the hospitals, we are getting into the buses, we are getting more and more buses, praise the Lord, and they came and testified, and we made them join the foundation school, and they're so excited about it. So thank you so much, Pastor Ma, for the VMC, you know, it's, they're doing amazing things. It's because of them that we've been able to penetrate places where we cannot penetrate because they have the age. Thank you so much, Pastor Ma. Wow, praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, every single one of us is involved with the healing streams. You must pray, you must publicize, especially with the Healing to the Nations magazine, glory to God. We've had many, I mean, so many testimonies of the use of the magazine, people getting healed, cancers disappearing, blindness leaving, and even the dead being raised. And it is a number one publicity material for the healing streams. It has everything in it, the testimonies, reports, videos, and of course, the power of God as ministered by our man of God, Pastor Chris. Now, I'm going to be asking Pastor Digbo to talk to us about the fourth P, because we said prayers, we said <laughs> publicity, we said preparing places, and we really did that. And the fourth one has to do with partnership. This is what makes everything go further, praise God. With partnership, we're able to go further. We're able to reach more people, able to get to more homes, more cities, and touch more lives. So, Pastor Dikwa, can you talk to us about that, please? Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you so very much. Um, I'm very grateful. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. First, I want to thank my man of God, Reverend Dr. Chris Oyakilume DSCDD. Also, thank you so very much for your investment in my life. I'm indeed very grateful for picking me up and making me the minister that I am today. I am your epistle written in your heart, known and read of all men. Thank you so very much, Pastor. I also thank all our highly esteemed CEC pastors. Thank you so much, sirs. We are grateful for your leadership. I also thank you, my board director of Healing School and CEOs, and thank you so very much for um, giving me the opportunity to work with you in the Healing School. I also thank the DOP, the COO, praise Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, partnership, there's, there's, a, there's a saying while I was growing up that my dad used to say, he says, he says, he says the bicycle that um, good news rides on is money. For us to, able, to be able to spread the news, we must be addicted to the sponsorship of um, the healing streams. I, I, I've had the opportunity, of course, all the healing, the healing stream sessions, I've had the opportunity to be in the studio. I, I see the heavy deployment. I, the experience is, is out of this world. And I, I see the, the kind of massive deployment that we use resources for us to be talking to the billions of people all around the world that we talk to. So those things become, um, they, 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 this, when I see these things, I'm inspired the more to give for the healing streams. And, uh, and especially when you now see this testimony, my, let me share this testimony with, from one of, one of the general hospitals in Guagualada. You know, you are able to relate these things. And when you are in our preparation, in our partnership, in, in our prayers, you are able to see beyond the program, the results, the testimonies, the miracles. You know, I, I, this, in the hospital, there is this child. We went to the hospital. We distributed healing to the nation's magazine. After distributing healing to the nation's magazine, we now told them of one of the words that we are going to be um, transmitting um, the healing, healing streams live. 
There was this woman with her child. She's been, she died, the child had been in on oxygen for over two weeks. But the condition was not improving. And of course, we encouraged her against the doctor's um, guide, her husband, everybody. She removed the oxygen. When they, I mean, of course, you can remember, imagine they, they, they freaked out. If this child dies, she took the child for, to cut long story short, the child was miraculously healed. The, that's not the end of the story. The, end of the, 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 the man, the husband that was against her became the evangelist. Man, the church that sent, that is the church that, um, that is nearest to that place grew with over 80 some, 87 people. Wow. Why? In their whole area. In, interestingly, this man is influential in the area. So she, he, he, he had never seen such a thing before. And so he went ahead telling everybody about the miracle and bringing everybody to church. Of course, in my relating it, what if we did not sponsor? What if the network caught? What if um, this, the, the, I mean, the platform froze? What, what if something happened? We won't have that miracle. We won't have that extension by church growth. We won't have that post-program result that we had. And so the sponsorship of the healing streams is very important, especially also the distribution of the magazines. This is amazing. Also, man, we, we, one, one, of the, one of the things that has helped our church tremendously in the, in the nations, in Maldives, one of the guys, Paul, is here. They are here. Some of them are here. From the, they didn't want to they didn't want to accept us. But one of the times we transmitted the healing streams, the guy's son was healed of autism. He became bold. Hallelujah. Pastor, he's here. Hallelujah. The child, I mean, doing well. There's one of our leaders there, and um, the, the, church, the, the, the church there, or the, 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 the cells there are doing very well. The church there has been doing very well. So I, I want to encourage everyone. The partnership with the healing streams, with the healing school is key because it's the, it's the platform through which you take healing to the nations. And healing, these are testimonies that testify vividly to the potency of our gospel. Thank you very much, man. Praise the Lord. Can we give a simple Pastor Dikwa a round of applause? <laughs> Glory to God. Now, like I said, we all have a responsibility, a personal responsibility towards the healing streams. And especially as we're preparing for the next one, I would like to read to us from Luke chapter 10 and verse 1. It says, after these things, the Lord appointed other 70 also. That means he had done it before. And we're going to go and see where he did it before. But I want you to get a point here. The Lord appointed other 70 also and sent them two by two before his face into every city and place whither he himself would come. Praise the Lord. So he was preparing to come to those cities and he sent his disciples ahead to prepare the people and to prepare the place. Glory to God. Look at verse 9. It says, and heal the sick. They were told to heal the sick. So in preparing for the Lord Jesus to come for this program, the, the disciples were to go ahead and begin to heal the sick. And that is exactly what we're doing with the Healing to the Nations magazine. As we're preparing for the next healing streams, we are those disciples going ahead to prepare people to prepare places to receive the power of God. Now look at... Um, Chapter 9, Luke chapter 9, and verse 1. Remember, in Luke chapter 10, he referred to a previous time. So, verse 1, it says, Then he called his 12 disciples together and gave them power and authority over all devils and to cure diseases. And he sent them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. Look at verse 6, the result. And they departed and went through the towns preaching the gospel and healing everywhere. Glory to God. Now, as we're preparing for the next healing streams, we are going to be preparing people. We're going to be preparing places with the Healing to the Nations magazine. Starting with this month of December, we're going to be going out in a special global hospital outreach campaign, going to the hospitals, ministering with the magazine, receiving testimonies and preparing people 
Glory to God. While we are, like Sister Winnie said, we don't dismantle our structures for healing streams. Everywhere we had a healing center, we build on it and even add more. Every place we went, we retain. We all know that uh, in, our, in our planning and in our structure. But we are going to go all out and herald the news of the healing power of God. Glory to God. And as we do so with the magazine, sharing the testimonies, ministering to the sick, there's going to be an outbreak of the miraculous all over the world. Glory to God. We are not doing these things by ourselves. The Lord is guiding us. The Lord is leading us. And we are making tremendous impact. So for this month of December, I'm going to be encouraging you to sponsor and distribute the Healing to the Nations magazine in every city and every place where you're going to be preparing for a healing center during the next healing streams. You know, for healing streams, we don't just fix a date and say, this is the most convenient date. We wait for the signal from heaven. And then we know the dates that have been assigned for healings and testimonies and miracles around the world. So while we're expecting those dates, we are already preparing. Are you with me today? So we're already preparing. So this month of as we move into December, plan a distribution of the magazine, especially those. You know, when, when we were younger, um, we used to go, I, my, my dad is a doctor, so we lived in, in Luth, actually. So every Christmas, we would go out to minister to the, those in the hospitals because Christmas can be very lonely in a hospital. So we used to go out, sing songs, and, you know, just cheer them up, praise God. And I didn't even know the impact of it until one of my own siblings was sick at Christmas time. You know, uh, that sibling was in a coma. So the whole family was in the hospital. And these people came and they just sang songs and they gave us, you know, they read scriptures. It was so comforting. Of course, they didn't have what we have. They couldn't bring out of the coma, <laughs> praise the Lord. But today we can do that, glory to God. You know, today we have the power, I mean, at, at Pastor Archie's church. During the last, not this one, the, the July healing streams, there, were, there was a, an ICU with four people in a coma. And within 30 minutes of pastors stepping on the stage, all the four of them came out of the coma. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So if only we had healing streams then, we wouldn't have spent the whole Christmas. So but what, does, what am I telling us? That Christmas is a time to minister. So this Christmas, plan a special distribution. Plan as an individual. Plan as a cell. The church should plan, the zone should plan, and let us minister healing to the sick. Glory to God. That is our responsibility. And as we do so, not just the hospitals, of course, but especially hospitals. Think about everywhere, everyone you know that has a healing challenge, everyone you know that has a health condition, and let us plan to reach them and share the testimonies. The woman with the issue of blood, what prepared her for her miracle? The testimony she heard, and that is what the Healing to the Nations magazine contains, the Word of God. And Pastor told us that as we carry out our evangelical work, as we carry out our Kodraba activities, he said we must take those materials like the Healing to the Nations magazine that not only carry the virtue of God, but they also point you to the Word of God. They point you to the Christ in the Word. Glory to God. So it's very important for you to plan, especially this Christmas, plan, uh, maybe you're, you're going to be traveling, plan to do something about healing to the sick. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So how many of us are going to be involved in this uh, special distribution and healing campaign? We're calling it Healing Everywhere. Praise the Lord. Just like the scripture says, and they departed and went through the towns preaching the gospel and healing everywhere. You can imagine healing everywhere. You can imagine shouts of joy everywhere. And by the time we announce the dates for the next program, expectation will be so high, faith will be so high, and the glory of God manifested all around the world. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. <laughs> glory to God. I want to say thank you again for the amazing work and partnership in the Healing Streams Life Healing Services. Hearing the testimonies seeing the look on the faces of, I, I watched one yesterday, a child whose brain, they are told the parents, the brain is not developing well, the child will not be normal. And right in the healing streams, the father said the child used to sit, you know, with the head bent, a very, you know, you can imagine, all the time, the child straightened up and the child was on the set with the head upright. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And imagine you are a part of that. You are a part of that. Glory to God. So let us do more in the coming ministry year. Pastor Madeus, yes, please. Pastor Madeus, something we did with Project Decapolis. Yes, please. You know, apart from the, what we did 
with the healing school to the nation, the 10 cities, we internally in a zone, we looked for everyone that had been healed. Yes. And we made them to set up healing centers. Pastor, in, we had about 124 of those kind of centers. Wow. What, Pastor, this set up by those who had been healed. Been healed before. And Pastor, because they have been, they, they were first hand recipient of the healing anointing, their faith was high. Mm. What was happening in those centers was that they were creating the miracles. Hallelujah. And man, the, what with this that we're going to do in, 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 at Christmas is another opportunity to make them now spread healing everywhere with focus in the hospitals. Yes. And that's what we're going to do this, this season. Wonderful. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. If you are a medical personnel or you, you function in that field, I want to encourage you to join the Love World Volunteer Medical Corps. We have a network of health workers, health professionals, people that work in the medical field. You don't just, not only if you are a doctor or a nurse, if you work in a hospital or you work in the health sector, we've been doing so much work in penetrating hospitals, reaching people, reaching doctors, reaching nurses, and doing so much in ministering to the sick. Remember the Lord said to our man of God, he said, to him, he said, heal the sick. And then he said, and pray for those in the hospitals. So the hospitals are a focus, a major focus of the healing to the nation's mandate. Praise the Lord. And that's why if you are a medical personnel or you work in the medical field in any way, I want to invite you to join the Love World Volunteer Medical Corps. If you don't have one in your chapter, um, you can visit the exhibition stand. Look for the Love World Medical Missions and Services exhibition stand. Visit them, and they will let you know how to start a chapter. Maybe it's your church that doesn't have one, but you'll be told if there's, a, if there's a zonal structure, you'll be told, and you'll be linked to that zonal structure. But let us build this network. At the moment, we have over 5 million members of the Love World Volunteer Medical Corps in every nation of the world. So why don't you join us? Praise the Lord. Join us, and let's see what more we can do with your collaboration. Praise the Lord. And I want to again say thank you to you for your work, your labor of love, your prayers, your publicity, the healing. How many of you set up a healing center? You hosted a healing center. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you so much. Thank you for what you did. Thank you. The Lord will bless and honor you openly and abundantly in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. I want to say thank you to my wonderful panel. Thank you so much. Brother Mario, you want to say something? Yes. Okay. Uh, 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 well, just I want to say that uh, please, when you go to the hospital, do not forget to get into the areas of intensive care unit because they are really they need prayers. When I go there into the intensive care unit, that people they were in the need of prayers. When this woman asked me, "Excuse me, could you pray for my husband? He has got a heart attack." And then another was another person says, "Can you pray for my husband too?" They're going to disconnect him in the next 45 minutes. Wow. And then, uh, yes. So I was so touching to see people on my knees. We hold hands and we pray. And I've been told the man live. He didn't die. Hallelujah. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much, Brother Mario. Thank you for that. You're welcome, man. Thank you. You know, the Lord said, he talked about those he was going to commend. He said, I was sick and you visited me. It's a very important ministry, ministry in the hospitals. Praise the Lord. One more thing. The, usually after the healing session, we, one month after, we organize the Global Miracle Faith Seminar. That's a special program for those who receive their healing one month after healing streams. So the next one is going to be Friday and Saturday, 18th and 19th of December, 2022. Thank you so much, Pastor, for this opportunity. I want to say thank you to our CC members. Thank you, everyone. God bless you. Thank you. Our beloved pastors and partners, Welcome to IPBC 2022 Celebrating Answers. This is the International Pastors and Partners Conference 2022 with Pastor Chris. Good morning to you all and welcome to this um, extraordinary strategy 
session. I'd like to thank my man of God and father for the call into the ministry, the greatest calling on earth. And I thank God for how he has led pastor to raise us and to give our lives a meaning and make us champions. Pastor, thank you very much. I love you, sir. I'd like to thank our highly esteemed CC pastors and our dear, beautiful CEO, the DOP and the COO. Thank you very much. And um, I want to thank my panelists today. I'm going to introduce Pastor Lawrence Ajiboye. You're welcome. Pastor Frida Maria, you're welcome. Pastor Obi Chiamaka, you're welcome. Pastor Tony Obi, you're welcome. A highly esteemed Pastor Ambrose Cecile, a member of the Central Executive Council, you're welcome. A highly esteemed Reverend Ken, a member of the Central Executive Council. <laughs> Praise God. Very high powered. Strategy session. Praise God. Pastor, thank you so much for the opportunity. I want to thank you all, our dear partners in the Love World Networks. I want to thank you especially for your partnership, you know, from all over the world and believing in the voice of our man of God. This has been a very exceptional year for us. We have been at the center of major events in our great, great ministry, promoting our agenda through all our very high-powered programs and ministry events such as your Love World Specials, the Global Day of Prayer, Global Communion Services, Praise Night, Healing Stream Services, Road to Healing uh, School, Festival of Miracles Program, Reach Out World, Love World Network's uh, Quarterly Prayer Conference, Partners Conference, Light Up Your World Global Outreach, and very importantly, uh, the love of our praise that we had. And we have been so victorious and triumphant in all that we did this year because of you, our dear partners. Please give yourself a big hand. <clears throat> this year, we put pastor on prime time. Every channel pastor is on must, if it wasn't prime time, it becomes prime time. And something I discovered that the world is in different time zones. We discovered that any time your love world specials was taking place or healing streams, it was prime time all over the world. And thank you. That was because of your partnership. So this year, you sponsored prime time for the man of God. Hallelujah. And we also had the Minutes to Reach Billions a campaign, Pastor Chris in every home, Pastor Chris everywhere. These are some of the projects that we uh, did. We gave opportunity to a lot more partners, and we raised partners, you know, for the gospel, financial partners. I mean, we experienced somebody starting the year thinking, let me just give the 1,000, uh, uh, just a few thousands of rands, and by the end of the year, such people had given over a million rands toward the gospel just to promote the message and the word of our man of God. I think that's worth clapping for. So thank you very, very much. I'm just going to go to our panelists. I'll start with Pastor Law, who's going to talk to us about more of the achievements that we had this year in the networks. Thank you very much, Ma, for the opportunity to be here with you on the set. I'm very, very grateful. And it's been a pleasure working with you at Love World Network. Thank Praise you. Praise the Lord. While standing on the existing protocol, I would like to say a big thank you to my father, my man of God, my pastor, Reverend Dr. Chris Yakilome. Thank you so much, sir. You changed my life, and your message has had profound impacts in my life and I'm so grateful, and I will be eternally thankful to you, sir. I'm very, very grateful. Thank you, Pastor, and I love you very, very much. Glory to God. Well, this year has been quite phenomenal for us. 
we made giant strides and there are several things that we accomplished and we're so grateful to God and the leadership of our man of God and our director. Glory to God. Of the many things that we accomplished this year, um, we, we launched 28 new channels this year. And of those channels, uh, 26 of them are non-English languages, meaning that people in different parts of the world are now able to listen to pastor and several of our programs in their own languages. Glory to God. And this, this has been very, very successful because the feedback that we've been getting from these channels, they have been very encouraging in the sense that viewers are, are hooking up to it and they're enjoying to uh, get our programs in the language that they are most comfortable with. And we're so grateful for what the Holy Spirit has led us to do. And this is in pursuit of the seven billion mandate that pastor gave to us and the fact that we are still pursuing the networking of the world. Glory to God. And also we had several programs that have enriched our program offerings and increased the varieties of our contents. So we also have several news programs, documentaries, opinion shows, and movies that we've been able to produce this year. As a matter of fact, there are still several of our programs that we have not been able to, to air because they are coming up in, in such sequence that um, we require a lot of time to edit them and put them on air. Glory to God. And this, those are the ones that are not um, uh, live programs. Glory to God. And more importantly, this year we've had several more partners. Um, many of our brethren, more than ever before, are now partnering with our stations. And that is something to celebrate. <laughs> Glory to God. The drive to do that was uh, orchestrated by our highly esteemed director. And I'm so glad that for many, many of our, past, of our partners, Love Was Sad is a default partnership for them. Glory to God. They, they just want to partner with the station. And uh, as we are here, they are still partnering, even though IPPC has already started. Glory to God. So we now have several thousands of, of partners, far more than what we had last year. And um, we are so grateful, as our director has said, to our partners for their involvement, their commitment to the vision that the, the station or the network represents. Glory to God. Then, um, of course, my director just talked about the minutes to reach billion, but I'm not going to say much about that. I think Pastor Freedom will talk about that. Praise Thank you Lord. very much, our partners. Thank you, Pastor Law. To talk to us about the minutes to reach billions campaign, just one of the campaigns that we uh, 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 pushed this year. Thank you so much, esteemed man. Thank you, Pastor. I would like to thank my father, my life coach. I would like to thank Pastor so much for giving us a vision to live for, giving us the vision for the Lobot Networks. And I want to also want to stand on the existing protocols uh, to begin my, my talk. Now, um, it's, it's said that the, the human heart would have more than 78 beats in a minute. And of course, in our conversation day to day, we can tell people, just give me a minute for our conversation. So you can understand the Minutes to Reach Billion campaign, it's a very strategic campaign for the Lovewood Networks. Now, when you're talking about the networks, you just heard the extreme director talk about pastor being on prime time. And that means airtime. And, you know, when you are talking about the networks, you're, you're talking about airtime. And in dealing with our service providers, we don't deal with them in uh, making the payments in areas. We have to make the payments in advance. And so you can see that it's very key that we meet up with uh, 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 airtime payments. And so the Minutes to Reach Billion campaign has been strategically designed for everybody to be a part of it because the airtime has been broken down to minutes and if everyone would just be a part of at least a minute, it would go a long way. 
to be a part of the Minutes to Reach Billion campaign is just to give uh, $100 and you can convert that in your local currency. And so with just $100, you can be a part of the Minutes to Reach Billion campaign. That means you can save somebody's life in a minute. We have several flagship programs, flagship products, but the networks give further visibility to our flagship programs and our products. Think about the lower uh, uh, specials with the man of God. Many of us watch it on our several satellite stations, on the networks. And this is airtime. Every time that pastor is up there, it's airtime. And that's where you come in. You just heard the extreme Pastor Lawrence talk about having several thousands of partners. But if you are not one of those partners in the networks, if you're not giving your resources in the networks, that means you are not part of that number. And I want to advise and encourage you. You can get more information if you come to the Love World Exhibition Stand uh, the, the networks, where the networks are, and we'll give you further information of how you can be a part of the Minutes to Reach Beyond campaign, but just know it, with just $100, you can make an impact. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Pastor Freedom. Thank you very much. We'll move on, along to Pastor Obi, and uh, Pastor Obi, there's, there's a lot that has to do with um, the satellite, being on satellite or terrestrial TV on the internet, because we push the message of a man of God through all of this uh, uh, means you have content acquisition, you have equipment, you have to upgrade uh, uh, things. In fact, somebody can just switch the channel or flip the channel if there's any issue that is not uh, 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 happy about. And all of this, like Pastor Freedom told us, have to be done in advance. And this calls for serious attention. It calls for consistency. But you have been are consistent in that with Love World UK, we see that you always do things in advance. So we wanted to talk to our partners in, in the light of that. Thank you, man, for the opportunity. Uh, I would like to just start by thanking uh, our, our man of God, our Father. Pastor, I want to thank you for, um, for this, for IPPC. This is my 21st year. I, I was invited to more than music in November 1991. That's 31 years ago. And I'm very glad that I was invited to that program and I'm here today. Thank you, sir, for the impact you've had in my life over the years. And I'd like to stand on all other existing protocols. Thank you, uh, thank you, man, for the, the, the opportunity. Um, we did a survey of the numbers of people coming to, into our church services. And a lot of them come from the level networks. They come from watching past on, on the Love World Networks, on the internet. So TV is, is, is so important. And, you know, TV costs a lot of money. Satellite costs are not cheap. If you look at all the networks, we're spending millions of dollars every month. And, you know, the, the service providers, all they know is their money. If you don't pay them their money, they'll cut you off. So you have to be ahead. And that's what we've done. Um, is make sure that we have partners that understand the commitment. And so it's given ahead. We want to be ahead in all our payments. And so we need the partners in our various churches and groups and zones to understand that. And every church should have Love World Network partners. Every group should have. Every zone should have. And, you know, yesterday, Pastor was talking to us about radical giving. He said the radical giver doesn't think. He just gives. And God loves a cheerful giver. And I just want to read this scripture here. In uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 7, he says, Let each one give as he's made up his own mind and purpose in his heart not reluctantly or sorrowfully or under compulsion, for God loves, he takes pleasure in, prizes above all things, and is unwilling to abandon or to do without a cheerful, joyous, prompt to do it giver, whose heart is in his giving. And you know, yesterday pastor talked about delays. God doesn't like it when we delay. So it must be done ahead because uh, we, be, we have the ability, we have the capacity, and all grace has been given us to do so. And as we do so, we'll just flourish. Amen. And then the networks will definitely remain on air. We've had this challenge with Ofcom and the illegal sanctions. 
but the Lord is above every nation. And so, um, you know, in, in this place where we're, we have all of our partners, it's important that they make sure that they engage monthly ahead of time to be Lovewell Network partners. Thank you, Ma. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right. At this point, I'd like to bring in some of our uh, pastors to share some testimonies regarding the uh, networks. Pastor Wilma will be sharing with us and Pastor uh, Tony. Go ahead and talk to us about some of the achievements that we had this year. Yeah. Thank you, Ma. Praise the Lord. I'd like to start by saying a very big thank you to my father, our man of God. Thank you so much, sir, for the very many opportunities given to me to serve in ministry. I love you, sir. I'll stand on all existing protocols. Pastor Chris Oyakilome is our brand in the Love of Networks. And one of the things we've done this year is to trumpet the message of our man of God, Pastor Chris. One of the things we did in Love of UK was that we took the risk to travel all the way to Ukraine to bring the truth, unveil the truth to you of what was happening on the ground. Now we flew to Poland. We had to take a bus 12 hours to the border of Ukraine. We were in trains like bunkers for another 12 hours to Kiev. When we got to Ukraine, we found out that exactly what Pastor said was exactly what was happening on ground. The war was aggravated by NATO. They started the war. They had combat troops on ground. They called them volunteers, and the Ukrainian army was actually using the civilians as human shields. But you never see this on other media. And what they did was that they wanted the casualties to increase. And not only that, we found out that they always covered the narratives. The narrative they brought out was of fear. And at the same time, some of the war crimes they were accusing Russia of was right there in Ukrainian villages on Ukrainian soil, which Ukraine themselves could have been responsible for. So it wasn't just Russia. So they twisted a narrative for people to have a different view. But we have a narrative that our man of God has told us, and that was what we found out that was happening in the land. And when we went there, you know, wherever we go, the grace of our man of God, Pastor Chris, goes with us. The misery stopped. The moment we left, the misery continued. So we are completely protected from all misery power. And another thing we did again was during the opening ceremony of the Commonwealth Games in the United Kingdom, we saw a heathenistic, wicked, evil bull being dragged into the stadium organized by Satanists. And that was very troublesome because no one expected that. We didn't know that was the plan. And they called it a symbol of peace, but they called it the beast. And we know Pastor has already told us that that is the beast from Zeus. And Pastor told us in Revelations that Antipas, the bishop of Pergamon, was killed in a brazen bull. So what were they saying? They were saying a threat to Christians that this is what's going to happen in the few years to come. And the devil wanted to bring his agenda forward. We did a piece on this, which is our opinion piece on talking politics. And we spread it around all the social media. We sent it to the MPs in parliament. They said, honestly, they didn't know that this was what it meant. Because many of them didn't know about symbolisms. And they put their foot down that this is not going to happen while we are here. Praise God. Then also, Ma. So one of the things that we have done is to, with the inspiration that we receive from pastor, is to have opinion. So if you're watching the channels, you find that we have opinion shows in all our channels. So it's not just like broadcasting news, but opinion shows, because through all of these opinion shows, we are releasing the agenda of a man of God to the entire world. Praise God. Thank you, ma. All right. Quickly, please. Also on, in South Africa, LN247SA is now on satellite, is on hotbed, so that the things that you may not be able to watch on other channels, you can watch on it, such as Chronicles of Prophecy and other opinion shows as well. So when you watch that channel, it's 24 hours news, and it's Chronicles of Prophecy, it's uh, uh, Connecting the Dot, several of our opinion uh, uh, news, you can watch that on hotbed. I'll come to Pastor... Thank you, Pastor very much, Tony. Thank you very much, man. 
a very, very big thank you to my dear man of God. Thank you so much, Pastor Sir. And I also stand on the existing protocols. Glory to God. You know, um, it's so important who is talking to us everywhere that we are. And it, just an announcement right now that uh, that channel is now on Hotbird. And, and that means that a lot of people who do not have access, indeed, 13% of the world population right now is said to be connected to the internet. That means a vast number of people are really not on the internet right now. So those people need to be reached one way or the other. And a very sustainable way of making this happen is through the installation of decoders. So it's not decoder warehousing, it's not decoder purchase and keeping, but decoder installations. Those decoder installations are actually connecting spaces, connecting homes, connecting venues to our man of God and to the message of our dear man of God. Glory to God. And we know how anyone who listens to pastor turns out. They will turn out exactly the way we all have turned out, looking glorious, living examples of the message of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's what will happen. And since we know that, we are radical about ensuring that decoders are installed everywhere. And I'm talking about our love word XP, our love word SAT decoders being installed in every single place. Over the past few months, we've installed thousands of decoders and testimonies have been abounding. A quick testimony I'd like to share, Pastor Ma. Uh, a particular uh, fellow is a middle-aged man, and he's, this is in the city of Worry. Now, he resisted the installation of decoders in one of these betting venues. It's a betting venue where people gather to place bets and all of that. And he resisted it for several days. Eventually, the coordinator of the church prevailed and ensured that decoder was installed. This was uh, during the March edition of the Healing Streams Live Healing Service with the dear man of God. And so on the first day, this uh, person came, sat down, and listened to pastor. Now, incidentally, he attends a church where it appears to be the normal for the message being preached there to be largely against pastor. Very interesting indeed. And so he had not heard anything about the gospel according to our dear man of God. Sitting there in that place, he could not take his eyes off the screen. He stayed from beginning to the end. He was the first to come to the venue the next day, attended again the third day. And when it was over, he started asking for the nearest Christ Embassy Church. Who installed this decoder here? And they introduced him to this coordinator. He went to church. He was the first person to arrive church on Sunday morning. Today, he has the fastest growing cell in that particular church, which is in my group in Worry. And he has several members in foundation school right now. He himself is already a foundation school graduate. Thank Absolutely you. amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I actually saw that video of the testimony that he's sharing right now. All right, thank you. We'll call you again. <laughs> Glory to God. Now, we mo thank you, thank you, thank you. That was so awesome. Let's move on to Pastor Tony Obi. Pastor Tony Obi is, this is the new, the new uh, kid on the block. Praise God. <laughs> Pastor Tony, we have a new channel. I don't know how many of you know about it. It's called New Media TV in the UK. Praise God. Pastor Obi. Thank you, Ma. Thank you so much, Ma. I'd like to start by saying a very special thank you to our man of God. In fact, if that was all I came out here to do, just to say thank you to Pastor, it suffices me. I'd like to also stand on all the existing protocols. You know, um, the New Media TV was um, a project given to us. When I say us, I mean UK Zone 1 DSP by the man of God. And in fact, praise God, I, I, when Pastor gave us that project, it was like a dream because I, as a zone, we had been involved in uh, uh, Love World UK, which we still are. So I knew what it was like for several zones to come together to network or to manage a network or TV station rather. But in this case, Pastor gave it to us solely. And when I looked around the whole ministry zone that was handling one TV, so I just saw that as immediately I knew this was a blessing. God has an agenda for us as a zone. And I want to thank Pastor so specially for it. So we took off on the 5th of December last year. And um, since then, we have been airing seamlessly 
we're on the Astra 2G satellite, and that's reaching Republic of Ireland, Netherlands, United Kingdom, parts, some parts of North, North Africa. And we have a viewership of over 40 million, and that's just on satellite, because we are still online. We, we've got a, in fact, we've got our app on the Love World App Store. You can download that. And um, of course, you can watch on the go. You know, I, I want to also use this opportunity, opportunity to say thank you to our partners in the zone who have brought us thus far. We are not owing. Think about it. And it's not cheap. And guess what? We launched out in full HD. Full high definition. We didn't start from SD and then upgrade. No. Full HD. Those of you who understand or who may know about broadcasting, you can, I mean, you probably understand the cost implications of that. We have not lacked for one day. And I thank Pastor. I thank Pastor so much. I thank our partners who will do more. Uh, the, the highly esteemed Reverend Tom Sa was sharing yesterday and he shared from Romans chapter 16, verses 3 to 4, when he talked about Pris Prisca and Aquila, who endangered their necks. That is what our partners have done. They're not like the men of Tekoa in uh, Nehemiah chapter 3, verse 5, who the Bible says that they did not put their necks to the work. The, the TLB translation says they were lazy and did not help. But our partners are different because pastor has raised those partners. He has put the word of God in them. I want to say thank you to my pastors. Thank you to my partners in UK Zone 1. Pastor, I love you with all of my heart. Praise thank God. you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You know, sometimes um, we need to really listen. Sometimes we really, 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 really need to listen. Pastor is doing a whole lot all around the world. And like a fuss, we must take charge of our world, the nations of the world. And we can do that through the message of our man of God. Pastor Ambrosa will be talking to us about us focusing on our networks instead of the networks of the world. Because some of us do that very unconsciously. Pastor Ambrosa. Praise the Lord. Thank you very much, Pastor Osei. Glory to God. And I really want to say a very special thank you once again to our father, our prophet, and our apostle. Um, Pastor is a visionary. And um, when we, all of us who, have, who are helpers of the work and helpers of the war with our dear man of God, we have found that all that happens to our lives is promotion as we get involved in what the man of God is doing. Praise God. Pastor, thank you so much for giving us the opportunity for ministry, and I also stand on all existing protocols. Um, for in our ministry, um, Pastor Tony just told us about the fact that um, UK um, Zone One is responsible for a new channel. In other words, the brethren, the partners there, you know, that is their responsibility to ensure that that channel is functional and stays on air 24 hours a day. Now, we have several channels in our ministry and um, several of our zones, you know, as he rightly mentioned, are responsible for these channels. In other words, um, there is, a, I mean, a zone, for example, you are instructed that this particular channel is one of your partnership arms, apart from um, the three uh, major partnership arms. There are some other um, partnership arms that are allotted to um, various zones. And it's important that we give attention to these particular channels. For example, if, um, um, if, you are, if your zone, for example, is supposed to be involved in lowered XP, it will not be right for us to have problems with the funding of lowered XP. And it will not be right for you to think that some other people are doing it. The responsibility has been given to you and every member of the church, every partner in that church must be mobilized, you know, to get involved with it. Now, we've got to understand something about agendas. Every organization has an agenda. You know, a man of God has been telling us about several organizations in the world whose agenda is primarily 
against the spread and propagation of the gospel. And these various organizations, they have different outlets, whether by television or by um, social media, you know, through which they prosecute their agenda. And it's important for us as God's people to be wise and to be smart and to understand that our various networks are our opportunity to prosecute and advance the agenda of the gospel. It's very, very important. You might sit down and be maybe watching, you know, um, you, maybe you subscribe, for example, to maybe um, to a satellite station, and it's not a Christian station, it's not one of our networks. You know, it is your subscription that it helps to keep those networks on, your monthly subscription. And when you pay, when you pay those subscriptions, it means that you're also helping to advance their agenda. But then we have an agenda that must be prosecuted, and it's important for us to put our partnership giving into our networks, you know, so that that agenda can go around the world. If you study the book of Acts, you find that the, the Sanhedrin, when they called the disciples together, the Bible says they threatened them. They threatened them that they should no longer preach in this name, in that name. That was their agenda. Now, when we are threatened like that, I mean, think about it, for example, when Pastor began to share with us in 2020, you know, on the COVID debacle, you know, there were several stations around the world that tried to block, you know, the transmission. You know, there are some of our stations, for example, you know, that were sanctioned. You know, they were told they could not, they, they could not transmit because, because somebody, they felt somebody is saying something is wrong with this, with, this, with, this entire, with this entire thing. Some of them were sanctioned. Pastor was talking, talking to us about, um, about him about several years ago, how that when some of our brethren are rusticated, you know, as dismissed from the university, he always used to wonder, what, what can I do? Their parents can't do anything. Is it possible that I can't do anything? But that now the Lord is opening doors. Now we have, we, now we have, we have universities that we either 100% control or universities that we have interest in, maybe up to 30%, you know, where we, can, where, we, where we can respond. So our networks are our opportunities to respond. We can always respond. Through our networks, our networks we can prosecute our agenda. And it's important to fund these networks. You understand that this is, this is God's outlet. This is our outlet. If we don't fund these networks, if, I mean, think about it, for example, all the things that Pastor has been talking about, we couldn't have put it on CNN. We couldn't have put it on BBC. They will yank the program off. But we can put them on our networks, and no man can forbid us from transmitting those programs. Praise God. No man can forbid us. So it's, it's important that we keep on giving voice, we keep on giving strength to our various networks through our partnership funding. Take it very, very seriously. These networks are very, very important. We cannot afford to have any network go offline or off air for even a second. Not one second. Glory to God. And you, as a helper of the work, a helper of the war, you can see to this. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, sir. And Reverend Kent, sir, will be talking to us about the advantage of our networks. Pastor, thank you, sir, for granting us platforms to share God's word and to be relevant in the kingdom of God and in the ministry, especially at a time, at this time in history. I'm grateful, sir. And thank you to the director of um, Lovewood Networks for giving me the opportunity to participate in this. Um, at the beginning of the year, the man of God said to us that 2022 is the year of the gathering clouds. And pastor said to us very specifically that there were clouds of wickedness, clouds of war, clouds of famine, and that our cloud was going to swallow up every other cloud. So our network is a cloud, and our network is swallowing up every other network. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Now, through our networks, you have to understand that 
the voice of our man of God is being amplified globally. The voice of our man of God is being amplified globally through our networks. And it's important that we sponsor the networks. Very important. Because the message of this ministry is being heard loudly all across the continents of the world through the Love World Networks. How are we going to reach 7 billion people without the networks? It will be an uphill task. But through the networks, that has become easy. Besides the people who were physically present during the last, the just concluded healing streams, life healing services with our man of God, every other person had to watch it and participate through the networks. The quality of miracles we see, the quality of miracles we see, the millions of people that give their lives to Christ when the man of God leads them in prayer of salvation is done through the networks. Is done through the networks. So you're going to find out that the networks is important in the propagation of the vision of our ministry, of the gospel of Jesus Christ. The networks is it's playing a very vital role. So we must participate. Remember, this is media war. It's a war between the kingdom of light and the kingdom of darkness. We represent the kingdom of light. The world represents the kingdom of darkness. In 2020, we saw the role that the media played in the expression, in, 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 the, in, in, the, in the communication of their negative narrative regarding COVID-19. We also saw the role our media played through the voice of our man of God in dislodging and degrading the voices of the negative media. So it's very important. Remember the Bible says there was a long war between the house of David and the house of Saul. But the house of David grew stronger and stronger and the house of Saul grew weaker and weaker. The man of God is the house of David. We are the house of David. The world is the house of Saul. Our networks are getting stronger and stronger. And their networks are getting weaker and weaker. Because it's not possible for darkness to overcome light. The Bible says, and the light shineth in the darkness. And the darkness could not accommodate the light. The man of God is light. His message is light. His vision is light. And darkness is being driven and defeated. Praise the Lord. In Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 10, God said to Jeremiah, he said, See, this day I have put my word in your mouth. You shall uproot. You shall destroy. You shall bring down. And then after that, you will build and plant. Every time a man of God speaks during your Love World specials, you find him uprooting all the lies, the false narratives of the pseudoscientists. You find a man of God talking to governments of nations, talking to presidents of nations. His words were resounding and resonating in king's palaces, in institutions. As pastor was speaking, scientists were, given, were receiving impetus to discover what was right. Every time pastor spoke, wisdom was granted scientists. Every time pastor spoke, wisdom was granted virologists all across the world. The more pastors spoke, the more their eyes were opened the more they became aware of reality. So what was the man of God doing? His words were uprooting, pulling down, destroying the lies and the falsehood of darkness, the deception and deceptiveness of the evil one was being minimized and then truth was being established. And that's what God said to Jeremiah. 
He said, after bringing down the things, you build and you plant. And that's what our man of God does all the time. And we are seeing truth in our world prevailing. He took his voice to destroy COVID-19. When in 2021, pastor said, COVID is dead. COVID died. He was the one who snuffed the life out of COVID. It didn't matter what was happening. When he said COVID was dead, COVID died. Jesus cursed out a fig tree. It didn't die immediately. But on their return, Peter said, Lord, look at the fig tree you cursed out. It's withered now. It didn't matter what the government said. What was important was what the prophet of the nation has said. He was the one who killed COVID. Make no mistakes. Let your children know that. Let it be in our history books. Let it be in our mind, in our mental books. Let it be, let it be in, our spirit, in our spirits. Who killed COVID? Reverend Dr. Chris Oyakhilome, DSC DD. Who restored faith to the nations? By the power of the Holy Spirit, Reverend Dr. Chris Oyakhilome, DSC DD. It's the truth. He said they will never tell us how to worship, when to worship, and where to worship. Today we are gathered here together under the canopy of the Lord Jesus. But how did this news get to you? How did this information get to you? Through the Love World Networks. Praise the Lord. You can see why we must sponsor the Love World Networks. We are sponsoring our vision. The man of God said, anything I get involved in succeeds. The Love World Networks is a vision. Just as it's just that it's not every meeting that um, you are opportuned to be. The one you may have heard the most is when pastor said, the Lord spoke to him about the healing school. Take healing to, my, to the nations. We've all heard that. The same way in the early 90s, God said to the man of God, get on the internet. It will be bigger than TV. The same way God said to him that the rhapsody of realities will go around the world. I said that to say that the Love World Networks is a vision. It's God's vision given to a man of God. So we are prosecuting a vision with a consciousness of success, with a consciousness of kingdom expansion, with a consciousness of kingdom influence, with a consciousness of growth, we want to colonize and colorize our world with the message of our man of God. Yes. We want to fill Jerusalem with our yes. doctrine. Yes. The whole world has become our Jerusalem. Yes. And that will be done through the networks. Yes. Let your money be in it. You will never lose. Lastly, you need to understand something. These partnership arms are opportunities for your promotion and success. God will not bring money into your bedroom. He's not a 419. He's not just going to open, you're not going to find the wind blow and dollars will be blown into your room. But what does God do? He creates opportunities for you to participate in. In your participation in these partnerships, your success, your promotion, your wealth comes out. That's what God does. Participate. This is why we are bigger than the unbelievers. We eat the same food. We wear the same clothes. But there is something about us that makes us different. Our connectivity to divinity. And one of the ways is through sponsorship of the Love World Networks. Will you be an active sponsor today? Say, my money will be there. My money will be there. God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And I want to invite you, all of our networks, all of our networks. Thank you so much, Reverend Ken. All of our networks are on Alpha TV. The ones that you don't see there, they're coming on Alpha TV. So, I mean, with what all our panelists have said, and I highly esteem CC, our pastors, Pastor Ambrose and Reverend Ken, this is the end of discussion. Nothing more, praise God. And of the increase of his government and of peace through our networks, there shall be no end. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you to my panelists.
we are seeing truth in our world prevailing. He took his voice to destroy COVID-19. When in 2021, pastor said, COVID is dead. COVID died. He was the one who snuffed the life out of COVID. It didn't matter what was happening. When he said COVID was dead, COVID died. Jesus cursed out a fig tree. It didn't die immediately. But on their return, Peter said, Lord, look at the fig tree you cursed out. It's withered now. It didn't matter what the government said. What was important was what the prophet of the nation has said. He was the one who killed COVID. Make no mistakes. Let your children know that. Let it be in our history books. Let it be in our mind, in our mental books. Let it be, let it be in, our spirit, in our spirits. Who killed COVID? Reverend Dr. Chris Oyahilome, DSC DD. Who restored faith to the nations? By the power of the Holy Spirit, Reverend Dr. Chris Oyahilome, DSC DD. It's the truth. He said they will never tell us how to worship, when to worship, and where to worship. Today we are gathered here together under the canopy of the Lord Jesus. But how did this news get to you? How did this information get to you through the Love Word Networks? Praise the Lord. You can see why we must sponsor the Love Word Networks. We are sponsoring our vision. The man of God said, anything I get involved in succeeds. The Love Word Networks is a vision. Just as it's just that it's not every meeting that um, you are opportuned to be. The one you may have heard the most is when pastor said, the Lord spoke to him about the healing school. Take healing to, my, to the nations. We've all heard that. The same way in the early 90s, God said to the man of God, get on the internet. It will be bigger than TV. The same way God said to him that the rhapsody of realities will go around the world. I said that to say that the Love World Networks is a vision. It's God's vision given to a man of God. So we are prosecuting a vision with a consciousness of success, with a consciousness of kingdom expansion, with a consciousness of kingdom influence, with a consciousness of growth. We want to colonize and colorize our world with the message of our man of God. We want to fill Jerusalem with our doctrine. The whole world has become our Jerusalem. And that will be done through the networks. Let your money be in it. You will never lose. Lastly, you need to understand something. These partnership arms are opportunities for your promotion and success. God will not bring money to your bedroom. He's not a 419. He's not just going to open, you're not going to find the wind blow and dollars will be blown into your room. But what does God do? He creates opportunities for you to participate in. In your participation in these partnerships, your success, your promotion, your wealth comes out. That's what God does. Participate. This is why we are bigger than the unbelievers. We eat the same food, we wear the same clothes. But there is something about us that makes us different. Our connectivity to divinity. And one of the ways is through sponsorship of the Love World Networks. Will you be an active sponsor today? Say, my money will be there. My money will be there. God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And I want to invite you, all of our networks, all of our networks. Thank you so much, Reverend Ken. All of our networks are on Alpha TV. The ones that you don't see there, they're coming on Alpha TV. So, I mean, with what all our panelists have said, and I highly esteem CC, our pastors, Pastor Ambrose and Reverend Ken, this is the end of discussion. Nothing more, praise God. And of the increase of his government and of peace through our networks, there shall be no end. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you to my panelists. Let's pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Let's go ahead, please, Pastor Felix. Thank you. Let's take some um, message land, lessons land. Thank you.
you can take like five of them praise the lord thank you pastor Sam. please let's stand to our feet as we pray in the spirit praise the lord and just thank god for Mary Kaba so krishna for for the impact of ippc 2022 oh barry as the Spirit of God is refreshing our minds. Oh, Bariela Bakaraba Sokrishtaha. Oh, Masata Leda Bakoraba Sikrishtaha. He's refreshing our minds. Oh, my Abbasakrash. Towards what he wants us, the direction, the strategies of how we will dominate in this new ministry year. Oh, Bariaba, in our cities, in our church, in ourselves. Rakaba. We have we have to we will be prophesying over what we want to see in ourselves, in our church, in our zone, in our city. In our catchments, speak words. Oh, what do you want to see? Oh, Sakaba Sakra, this was our coming. What are you seeing? What are you seeing? Speak words. Oh, breathe life to it. As a result of IPPC 2022, our city will never remain the same. We are dominating. We are reigning. We are taking over. Man sali karaba sotre ishtahanda. Regera ribo ruba satre ishtaha. Ranga bagazinda laba sotre ishtaha. Every home, every hospital. Sobari kabaranta. Rede daba koraba sikre ishtaha. Rande galinga raba sankre ishtaha. Reke bakari kaba sondre ishtaha. Man zaka bazinga barosha inda raba sitre ishtaha. In our place of work. Man kaba sakre ishtaha. Even as we are going home, in the cab, in the transport, in the vehicles. Leke bakabari laba sotre ishtaha. We are taking over. Man zaka. As you're prophesying, be thanking God for the souls that are coming in because they are coming in in millions, in billions by the power of God's spirit. We thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for our zone. Man Sekabalika answer of a Sotrishtaha. Barakabazunda answer of Ashtaha. All the departmental leaders, all the cell leaders, the pastors, man kabasita answer of a sotrishtaha. Randa la balika barosa of a sintrishtaha. Rakati kalikati and talabasi trishtaha. Oh makasila basokrishta. Man sakabarus rabashaha. Thank you for perfecting our minds, our thoughts, our minds, the way we see things, the way we say things. Lika bakarika basokrishta. The way we understand things. It is normal like before Master Thank you for renewing our minds. Thank you for perfecting our minds. Thank you for perfecting all things concerning us. We are blessed. We are big and influential. We are rich and we are wealthy. All things are working together for our good. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Manza Zagazega Ziga. Rakoba Kasita. Zenge Zagazanga Liga Rosa Riba Sikrishta. Oh Masatia Labakora Basitrishta. La Gazagazanga Zinga Lara Bakora. Rege Bakarika Raba Sontrishta. Oh Mazage Gaziga Lanka Reba Sotrishta. Oh Masia Laba Sokrishta. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. We give you all the praise. Oh Masika Basra. We are grateful, O Lord my God. We are grateful for expansion. We are grateful for multiplication. We are grateful for perfection. Oh Satila and we give you all the praise. We are grateful, O Lord. We are grateful, O Lord. We are grateful, O Lord. We are grateful. We thank you. We are blessed. And in Jesus' name we pray. Let us shout a bigger amen. amen. Let us shout glory. glory. Please let's have our seats. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Please, I want to call out five people to just come and share with us what they learned from the sessions that they to share with us. You can come and tell us what you learned. Oh, welcome. Please come to the front, please. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Yeah, as we wait for the rest to come, let's take the come for that. Just tell us your name, your church, and you share with us what you learned. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Pastor, good evening, sir. Thank you, ma. Good evening, ma. Thank you for the privilege and opportunity. Good evening, sirs, pastors, leaders thank you very much for this opportunity praise the lord you know i i'm grateful to god that since 2006 i joined the ministry i have never had any cause to look back and it's because what the spirit god told me that year 2006 i think it's the year of the spirit he told me he said you have come to your jerusalem that's what he told me i remember vividly praise the lord and ever since then i've never had the reason to look back praise the lord 
you know, I remember in 2020, I think before, that was around the call, yes, when the whole world was hiding. But you see, Pastor here, thank you, Pastor Sai, gave us the boldness to keep coming to church. I remember we will, Dickness will carry us, call us to wait at a particular stop and come and, and she will pick us up and bring us to church. We'll have, you know, visual, um, you know, service and all that. We were not hiding, but we are pushing our faith. I am so grateful to God because then my neighbors will be looking at me and see me go out. They will see this guy dressed and he's going to church. Every other person is relaxing at home and he's going to church. But you see, God, through our man of God, Reverend Chris, has given us the conviction that what we believed in is not a lie. And as it is today, we find ourselves to be the most confident of all Christians on the face of the earth. Praise the Lord. Why? Because of how he has carried us from day one. Pastor is not just a man of God. He's a man of the spirit. Following pastor has made me to say fearless is a kind of, you know, but to be without fear. Praise the Lord. To be without fear. To be in a zone where you have no fear. As in you are moving and you are certain that things will definitely turn out the way God wants it for you. You know the mind of God concerning you. I think, you know, IPPC gives us the opportunity to reestablish our conviction in the gospel, this gospel that we have believed. Praise the Lord. And I'm so grateful to God that anytime, just like a man of God said, he said, anytime we hear Reverend Chris speak, something happens to us. Hallelujah. Doubts are, fears are laid. You don't have any cause to think that, hey, I'm going to fail. No, because this thing has been tested and proven. Praise the Lord. True time. Hallelujah. You know, I'm grateful to God. Why? Because the things I'm hearing, I just know. Part of the things that I got to know in this means that I cannot die. Praise the Lord. COVID has made us know that not everyone that preaches is actually a minister of the gospel. Many are camouflaged. But we know we have the real thing. And how God helped a man of God and helped us is, you know, always putting us ahead of the world. The internet and all. Before this whole thing started, we were already on the internet. When the time came, we just, it was just like Noah preparing his ark against the flood. And we find ourselves sailing over the storms. Praise the Lord. No matter how the wind blows on the earth, we find ourselves over it. And that's it. You know, pastors declared a whole lot. You know, what? one of the things that captured me while those carols the lady that spoke, that went to Ukraine, pastor without knowing as it were, physically from any media house, what was going on in Ukraine by the spirit gave us a clear description of what is happening, which has not even happened. But going there was just for them to confirm it. And she said that when they were entering, the missile stopped. But by the time they were leaving, because they were already done with what God assigned them to do, everything started all over again. But you see, going there, the Spirit of God has to help them see that what a man of God is saying is actually the truth. In fact, this is one of the things that has strengthened my conviction. Hallelujah. God has made me even more bold. I don't fear anything. I always say to myself, if I can talk to God, who is that person I cannot talk to? Even if you have 20 heads, I can talk to you. And Pastor Chris, our reverend, has given us the strong you know, front to go all the way. Whether you were born today, you can do so much. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Pastor Sir. I'm so grateful. That's awesome. Praise the Lord. Let me welcome the second speaker. Praise God. Thank you, Sister Mark Pastor Sarah. <clears throat> good evening, pastors. Good evening, leaders. Good evening, members. The lesson I learned was um, in the first session about um, the, it was esteemed Pastor Diola Phillips. She speak about the four Ps. The first is a prayer, and then the second one, she said publicity, preparation, and um, the partnership. At times, I find myself doing the prayers, publicity partnership and then preparing them, I don't. So now I don't get to understand that it's not the prayer alone, neither the preparation, publicity, for the miracle of the healing center to come to success, you have to do the four. It's the four. At times we do three, we neglect one, and the members we gather up for the healing stream end up not having their miracles because we neglect just one. So I don't get to the lesson I learned this evening is, is the four. Thank you, 
so much. That's amazing. Praise the Lord. Wow. You know, because of time, we'll just stop from here. We learned, actually, we actually learned much, so much. Even myself, I learned so much. Praise the Lord. I learned when the other man, the man that got sick, that was, he was sharing, the man from Australia, when he said, after pastor said, check yourself and find and testify if you have an, if you have an, if you, if you are healed. So he said when he was opening up his legs, he was even shaking. He was afraid. But he said, in, in the time of faith, it's either you believe or you don't. But you see, there's something I understand. In the place of fear, just believe. In the place of doubt, believe. And walk in that believing. And you definitely have your miracle. Praise the Lord. So you see, our man of God has, just like he said, he has launched us beyond other ministers, other, what is happening in, how it's happening in the world. How that he taught us symbolism. And he said, the, the lady said, the other pastor that was sharing, he said, when they went for, to Australia, he, she said, they now saw them bringing in bulls. It's as a result of what the pastor taught. You understand? What the lesson they learned. And when they saw it, they now went ahead to tell those that are in charge of the ceremony that this thing, they educate them on what this thing represents. The people don't even know. So many people don't really know what is going on in the world. But thank God for a man of God. Thank God for IPPC 2022. We are blessed. Praise the Lord. Right now, we'll sit tight as we make work, as we, we are going into another super session um, with our highly esteemed Pastor Bjordan Lawa. Praise the Lord. <music> This is the International Pastors and Partners Conference with Pastor Chris. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we're so grateful. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for the calling. You call us. You call us as sons and daughters of our man of God, Pastor Chris. Thank you, Father in heaven. And thank you for this session. Thank you for the outpouring of your love in this session. Outpouring of your grace, impartation of your spirit. At the end of this meeting, every heart be full of your world, full of your spirit. Enabled by the spirit to even do much more by this time this year. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Firstly, I want to express my love for my dad. Thank you so much, sir, for all you had to me. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your grace that I enjoy. I'm a partake of your grace, sir. And there's so many things to say. But every single day, I thank God that you are my father. Pastor, I love you so much. And I'm also grateful for the platform, the opportunity you've given me this morning to share God's word as you have trained me with the word, with God's people. I also want to thank the highly esteemed members of the CEC, sirs. Thank you, sirs, for your love, for your care, for your leadership, for your inspirations. I'm grateful. So, thank the ILS team CEO. Thank you for being such a wonder and being a big blessing to me and to all of us around the world. Thank you so much. ILS team CEO, Director of Programs, all our regional and senior pastors, thank you so much for giving me your attention as I shared briefly with you today. I want us to turn in the Bible to Galatians chapter 5.
I want to read verse 7. The scripture says, you did run well, would it hinder you that you should not obey the truth? I want to share an unbreakable partnership. Here Paul was talking to the Galatian church. He said, you started the race very well. You started the run. You, run, you were running well. You were doing well. You were making giant progress. He said, then who did hinder you? You started the year with zeal and passion. Why did you stop? I read that same scripture to you from Amplified Bible. Classic edition. He said, you were running the race nobly. Who has interfered in, in that and stop you from heeding and following the truth. He said, you were running the race nobly. Sometimes we start the journey of partnership and then you look for the person, you can't find the person. Something must have hindered the person. Something must have come in to stop you from fulfilling all that has been assigned to you. Message translation says, you were running superbly. Who cut in on you? Deflecting you from the true course of obedience. In verse 8, he said, this detour doesn't come from the one who called you into the race in the first place. And verse 9 says, and please, don't toss this off as insignificant. It only takes a minute amount of yeast, you know, to permeate an entire loaf of bread. He said, but deep down, hallelujah, the master has given me confidence that you will not defect. But the one who is upsetting you, whoever he is, will bear the divine judgment. Glory to God. Unbreakable partnership. When you come into partnership with the Lord, with the work of the ministry, you must not allow anybody to hinder you. You must not allow anybody to deflect you, like we read in other translations. And Fire Bible says, hinder and stop you from eating and following. King James said, you did run well. Oh, hallelujah. You did run well. So who we'll stop you? Now, when you read these scriptures, you begin to understand why Paul called Galatians, oh, foolish Galatians. Because they allowed themselves to be stopped. In partnership, you must not allow anything to stop you. The man of God have been teaching us throughout this week about the manner of the kingdom. Understanding the kingdom. Jesus Christ told us the man of the kingdom in Luke 9 verse 62. He said, anyone that put his hand upon the plow. And Jesus Christ said, no man after putting on his hand on the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of God. So when you start the journey of partnership and you start looking back or you start reflecting on other things, the scripture says the person is not fit for the kingdom of God. So when we come in this kingdom, we don't look back. In this kingdom, we don't stop. In this kingdom, it is an unbreakable relationship with the Lord. And that takes me to the main person that ended in second in first Thessalonians chapter two chapter two 
I'd like to read verse 18. Paul says, Wherefore will have come unto you, even I, Paul, once and again, he said, But Satan in that us. So when somebody is moving out of partnership, is being controlled by demons. And that's very important. Because it takes a demon to fight giving. He says, Satan in that us. Why? Paul said, look at this church. Paul said, I want to come to you again and again. He said, but Satan didn't allow us to come. So when it comes to partnership, it's an unbreakable relationship. And that takes me again to the word of our Lord Jesus Christ in Matthew. As I quickly lay the foundation of what the Spirit of God is bringing to me at this moment. Matthew chapter 5, I read to you verse 13. Praise the Lord. Jesus Christ says, you are the salt of the earth. And if the salt have lost its savour, wherewith shall it be salted? It is then so good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden on the foot of men. Salt is so important in the scripture. Let's look at one or two scriptures to give us an understanding of salt. I read Leviticus chapter 2, verse 13. The Bible says, And every oblation of thy meat offering shall thou season with salt. Neither shall thou suffer the salt of the covenant of your God to be lacking from thy meat offering. With all thy offerings thou shalt offer salt. So in the Old Testament, the man of the kingdom, in the Old Testament, every offering to be offered to God must be salted. God will not accept any offering that is not salted. Let's read Numbers 18, in verse 19. The Bible says, And all the if offering of the holy things which the children of Israel offer unto the Lord, have I given thee, he's talking to the priest, and thy sons, the high priest, and thy daughters with thee, by statue forever, it is a covenant of salt forever before the Lord unto thee and to thy seed with thee. So God talked about it again. It's a covenant of salt. Every offering must be salted. Jesus Christ says we are the salt of the earth. Then you go to Second Chronicles chapter 13, verse 5. He said, ought ye not to know that the Lord God of Israel gave the kingdom over to Israel, to David forever, even to him and to his sons, by a covenant of salt. By a covenant of salt. He said, don't you understand that God has given the kingdom to Israel, given the kingdom to David by an agreement of salt. So in the scripture, Salt is so important. So what is salt? Glory to God. Salt, a covenant of salt is an agreement made between individuals pledging an unbreakable friendship. Any partnership, that, any giving that is not salted cannot be accepted by God. Salt means unbreakable friendship. When you put a salt into a, into a meat, you will not find it. You can't remove it again. It enters into a union with the meat. So when we begin to talk about giving, those who give and stop are not fit for the kingdom. Because it is an unbreakable relationship. 
You start, you continue till the rapture of the church. So when we say we are the salt of the earth, it means we have entered an unbreakable relationship with the Lord. Glory to God. Number two, salt and his savouring emphasize what? The durability of the friendship. So Jesus Christ said, if you are the salt of the earth and the salt has lost its ever, where we shall it be salted from? He said, it is then for good for nothing. Matthew 5 verse 13. It is good for nothing. He said, this is good for nothing. That is cast out and to be trodden on that foot of men. This is the man of the kingdom. We come into the kingdom. We begin a partnership. It continues forever. We don't stop. We don't get deflected. We don't let anybody hinder us. We don't let Satan to hinder us. We don't let friends to hinder us. We don't let family to hinder us. We don't let community to hinder us. We don't allow anything to hinder us. Paul said to the Galatian church, you were running well. Who did hinder you? You were doing so well. Who stopped you? When somebody is a partner in the house of God and he stopped, something hinder him. I mentioned one of those things. Number one, Satan and, and demons, they are hindering the person. So you have to start dealing with satanic forces. You find that you have a partnership, you have to start with satanic forces. You have to start casting out devils. I'm telling you, the Bible says, if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world had blinded the mind of them that believe not. When a thought comes to you and say, well, must I keep giving? Say, devil, get out of my mind. He's trying to de de deflect you. He's trying to hinder you. And like I read to you from the message translation, when we read the Galatians 5, glory to God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I read to you from the message translation in verse 8. He said, this detour doesn't come from the one who called you into the race in the first place. And please don't toss this off as insignificant. It only takes a minute of wrong meditation to lose the grace. Every time a thought comes that you won't do it again, the grace is at the door. The grace to do more is at the door, and devil wants to deflect you. He wants to hinder you. Paul said in First no, Thessalonians, I read to you, 2 verse 18, he said, we want to come to you again and again and again. He said, but Satan hinder us. What a blessing that Paul would have been to the church in Thessalonians if he has gone there. But the people didn't know what was going on. I'm sure when have, you know, Paul will have reached there, the blessings of Christ will have come to the people, the grace of God will have come to the people. So while they were all having challenges there, they didn't know it as devil that was hindering Paul. So you must rebook evil spirit. You must rebook those thoughts. Oh, you have tried. You have to stop now. You have other things to do with your life. Say, devil, get out. I'm just beginning. I'm just starting. You have not seen anything yet. Pastor was telling us about the way David behaved while well, he was dancing in the spirit and his wife was saying, look at the way you were embarrassing yourself before the girls. David said, you have not seen anything yet. So number one, you deal with that, you deal with it. You rebook those evil spirits. Say, get out of my mind, get out of my spirit. I'm going to do more. Number two, what in that person from doing more in, the, for, in partnership is pride. A pride. When you begin to estimate your own self in your own eyes. But there's something that pride does to people in Psalm 73. I read to you verse 6. He said, therefore pride compasses them about as a shame. So pride is a shame. It's pride shames somebody's down. So a proud person is like 
a prisoner. He's chained. He's not going to make progress. He said, therefore, pride compounds them about as a chain. So you deal with pride. What does the Bible say? He says, submit yourself to God and he will exhort you in due time. So pride restrains people. It holds them down. It stops them from making progress. And God will not bless a proud and arrogant person. So it is pride to say I'm not doing partnership. It is pride to say I'm stopping. It is pride not to continue. Because you are the salt of the earth. You have an unbreakable relationship with God. Once you start giving, you must not stop giving. Because that relationship will not allow you to stop giving. It is a covenant of salt. Every offering must be salted. Every partner must be in that relationship with the Lord that this is an everlasting relationship. It doesn't have an end. It will continue forever. And I'm so excited. Hallelujah. That I'm in this beautiful and glorious ministry. Partnership is my lifestyle. It's my life. I've been doing this ever since I became a member. And we are not yet stopping. We moved from 100 Ghana, I mean 100 Naira, 200 Naira. We are talking in billions now. We are not, we are not stopping. We are not stopping. Pastor told us yesterday, have you grown? Have you grown in your giving? Have you grown in your partnership? We are not stopping. We are moving to millions of dollars. Hundreds of millions of SPs. No more dollars now. Hundreds of millions of SPs. I want to, give, I want to be the first person to give 10 million SPs. I mean, you release that on app, let all app collapse. Let SP app crash. Let them call SP. What's happening here? Somebody just dropped 10 million, 100 million SP, 40 I mean, we have even left million now. 1 billion SP. One day I was telling Pastor Jeremy, I said, God is telling me to give 1 billion dollar there. He said, God told her the same thing. He said, Biodu. I will run ahead of you. She went to give Pastor a seed, but she didn't know to have gone to give Pastor a seed. We are running well. Hallelujah. I say I'm running well. So when you are standing beside your brother or your friend, and say, I'm going to give a million SP. When he has gone, you send the seed ahead to the man of God. Say, Pastor, I'm going to give 10 million SP. Because I'm running this race well. I'm running this doubly. And I won't allow anybody to distract me. I won't take any detour. I won't move away from anywhere. I'm focusing. Hallelujah. When I return back this time next year, it will be with a bigger testimony. I'm speaking my home. What is your own confession? What are you saying about yourself? Are you coming next year to clap or to clap for people? What are you coming here to do? Pastor told us the top is, is available for us. Every one of us can be at the top. I'm washing Pastor Yemis like this. I'm washing Pastor Diola like this. You see, you. if they move, I move. It's a race. Like it, enjoy it. If you come last, start all over again. And that's why I love IPPC. Sunday morning, tomorrow morning, all of us are back to normal. Zero, zero, zero. <laughs> We're all back to zero. <laughs> all of us will wake up tomorrow, no more record. You wake up, you shake your head like this. When I start praying in tongue and doing my head like this, I'm looking for a fight. La Kabaya. It's time to fight again. We all started from zero. Hallelujah. By the end of December, some of us are flying. By January, we have crossed some levels. Everything we did this year by December, all, all over. I say, Lord, by my spirit, we are running. By your spirit, we are running. We are not quitting. We are not stopping. We are not withdrawing. It's an unbreakable partnership. Unbreakable partnership. However, I will forever be the son of the man of God, Pastor Chris. I will be the son forever and ever. I will forever. Because I know what Pastor has done in my life. I was, I was raised a Muslim. I got born again from in my bedroom as a Muslim. And the first church I entered was Christ Embassy. And Pastor has only been my pastor. And I've been here forever. And I'm going to be here forever. All my money is here. All my grace is here. All my blessing is here. I'm not going anywhere. Run the race. Don't be, don't be distracted. Run it. Don't let Satan hinder you. Don't let pride hinder you. Hallelujah. 
Number three thing that hinder them getting involved in another war. See. You run fighting the fight that you are not sent to fight. Second Timothy four verse seven. We are doing partnership, you are doing building projects. Paul said, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Hallelujah. Luke 19, verse 10. Stay focused. Don't get involved in another war. God is sending you to fight that war. Jesus Christ gave us here verse 10. For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. He was clear. He was clear about his mission. He was clear about his purpose. He was clear about where he is going. And that's the same thing we read in Galatians 5 from the message translation again in verse Nine, he said, I'm Galatians 5 verse 9, and please don't toss this off as insignificant. It only takes a minute amount of yeast, you know, to permit an entire loaf of bread. Deep down, the mother, master has given me confidence that you will not defect. But the one who is upsetting you, whoever he is, will bear the divine judgment. Don't get involved in somebody else's war. I had a cousin. He was selling in you know, somewhere and two people were fighting. He went to separate their fight and they gave him a punch and he died. He was not the one fighting. So when I was, so heard that, when I see people fighting, I asked the Holy Ghost, should I go? I was not going to get involved in another war. So you are, a, you are a partner, it's time to do rhapsody, you get involved in somebody else's business, you go and fight his fight, you go and fight his war, and you lose the grace. Pastor told us that we should not be, uh, in one of the your love was season, he said, don't, don't be particular of another man's sin and collect the plague on his life. He said, the money that God gives to you, God will tell you what to do with it. Oh, my brother is sick, I need to help him. It's time for partnership, it's your partnership that will save him. But you go and get involved in that war and Satan distracted you. The person died. You still lose the war. I mean, you lose the money and now you can't go back and do what you want to do for the Lord. Our focus is the Lord. I remember when I was growing up, as pastor was teaching me, I was a peace leader then. I wanted to do so much for my parents. So I started. Then as I pray, Holy Ghost said, I never forget. Holy Ghost said to me, he said, I will make you poor. Huh? He said, focus on me. If you don't focus on me, I will make you poor. That's what Jesus Christ said. The man of the kingdom. He said, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these other things the Gentiles seek after. He said, they shall be added unto you. Your focus is the kingdom. His focus is your family. He will take care of your house. He will take care of your family. He will take care of your job. He will take care of your business. You focus on the kingdom. He raised you for the kingdom. Number three. Number four, thank you, sir. They stop living by faith. Unbreakable partnership, what in that people? Number one, I say Satan. Number two, pride. Number three, secondary war. Number four, they stop living by faith. The just shall live by faith. We are to abound in faith. Seven Corinthians 8 verse 7 says, Therefore, as you are bound in everything in faith, you are bound in everything in faith, utterance, knowledge, in all diligence, and in your love to us, see that you are bound in this grace also. This is a grace of giving, but he said, you are bound in, in faith. Therefore, as you are bound in everything, in everything in faith, <laughs> praise God, so you get it. You are bound in everything in faith. 
I abound in everything, in utterance, in knowledge. So in all diligence, in everything, I'm diligent. In everything, I walk in knowledge. In everything, I have utterance. In everything, I walk in faith. And in everything, I give. Abound in faith. Never complain. Never speak words that will reduce your effectiveness. Let the word of God be in your mouth every day. Abound in faith. Call things which be not as though they were. 2023 ministry year, I will do a, a million SP for Rhapsody. A million SP. You can start there. Maybe you did only on, uh, 10, 10 SP this year. 100 SP. Faith called things which be not as though they were. The Galatian people, they stopped walking by faith. He said, what bewitched you? They started running the race very well by faith. They were running the race by faith. You wake up in the morning and say, Lord, I'm going to do this for you. If it doesn't happen that day, you, you maintain your confession. No room for fear, no room for doubt, no room for murmuring. Because you know, even to the last second, you will still give. Yesterday, as he, as he gave, I gave yesterday. I gave and I recall, I, I told him, I said, I'm updating my record. And what I gave yesterday for that department was one third of what I've given them throughout the whole year. It was huge. But I gave it yesterday. So even now, you can still give. There's still some time. All things are possible. The, uh, the record can be open again. And one more point. They lose their willingness to sacrifice. Willingness to sacrifice. So those who have the stop in their race of partnership, they have their what? They lose their willingness to sacrifice. He said, if you are willing and obedient, what will happen? You shall eat the good of the land. Let the willingness be there. Paul says so in 2 Corinthians chapter 8. He said, if there is first a willing mind. Proverbs 21. The Bible says in verse 26. He covet greedily all the day long, but the righteous give it and spare it not. The righteous give it and spare it not. And the next point, what hindered them? They stop. Sorry, they become self centered. They become self centered. You can read Ezekiel 3, verse 31 to 33. They become self-centered. When you enter unbreak unbreakable partnership, you don't become self-centered. Ezekiel 3, verse 31 to 33. They are more interested in themselves and they demand more from their church. Such people demand more from their church. They want more from the church. They want the pastor to bless them. But if they lose the focus that they are into unbreakable partnership, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. How many points have I given? And the last point there. They lose their fire for God. They lose their passion for God. They lose their passion for God. You read Ephesians chapter 3. Ephesians 3. I read verse 7. He said, Wherefore I was made a minister according to the gift of the grace of God given unto me by the effectual working of his power, unto me, who am less than the least of all saints, is this grace given, that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ, and to make all men see. That's the point. They lose their passion for God. I read it to you from the Passion Translation, verse 9. Say, my passion, my passion 
is to enlighten every person to this divine mystery. It was hidden for ages past until now. And it kept a secret in the heart of God, the creator of all. Your passion. They lose their fire, their passion for God. Glory to God. So, how do you continue in this unbreakable partnership? Number one, understand the place of prayer. Number two, understand, because my alarm, alarm clock is, so let me just give the point. Understand the place of prayer. Without prayer, you lose the fire. You must pray. A partner prays. The more you pray, the more you see that partnership becomes so easy for you. And you do it with joy. Number two, understand time and seasons. Understand times and seasons. You have to understand there are seasons. Understand time and seasons. Remember Genesis 8 verse 22? The scripture told us about night and day, shall not see, see time and harvest. There are times and seasons. Number three, understand the spirituality of your giving. Unbreakable partnership. Understand the spirituality of your giving. You are not giving to man, you are giving to God. And your giving provoke both God and demons. Your, your giving provoke both angels and demons. It provoke both. There are activities, both demonic activities and angelic activities. Your giving provoke both. It provoke one to do more. It provoke another one to hinder. Take, for example, take about traffic on the road. The devil see that this guy is going for a job. He can't stop his car. His car is good. But he can go ahead of him and cause traffic. So it's the same thing. Understand the spirituality of your giving. Then understand excellence in giving. In partnership. Understand excellence. You must excel in partnership. And that's why I read to you in 2 Corinthians 8, by NIV version. 2 Corinthians 8, 7. Understand excellence in giving. You have to excel. 2 Corinthians 8, verse 7. Understand excellence in giving. Don't just give. Excel in giving. He said, but since you excel in everything, in faith, in speech, in knowledge, in complete earnest, and in the love we have kindled in you, see that you also, what? Excel in this grace of giving. Don't just give. Excel in it. And pastor told us during the two days ago, pastor said, we're not competing with another person, we're competing with our past. Glory to God. Excel. Do more than what you did last year. I'm talking about this ministry year now. Next year, excel in every department. Excel in every area of giving. We have to move from glory to glory from glory to glory, make sure you excel in your grace of giving. Glory to God. Excel. Then, last point there. Understand the place of collaboration. Understand the place of collaboration. Sometimes you want to do so much in the church, and maybe one of you, like, like I talk about in Accra Ghana Zone, or television, you know, two guys just came together and said, let's put television station, television set in all the hospitals in Accra. And they, they ordered for it from China and other 200 television sets, two of them, and put it everywhere. That's collaboration. You can call three guys, say, listen, let the, mix, the zone said they want to do 3 million SP for healing school. Let's do it. So understand the place of collaboration in unbreakable partnership. 
Then, last point, understand. You know, I talk about times and season. Then I'm saying understanding timing. Understanding timing. There are things you must understand in timing. Four things there. Number one, understand when there's a message about giving. When there's a message about giving, you read Exodus 35, verse 1 to 10. Message about giving. Number two, when there's a need in the house of God, that's the time of giving. There's a message about giving. Give. You read the Exodus 35, like I said, Moses 1 to 10. Understand, number two, when there's a need in the house of God. You read Acts 4, verse 33 to 36. Number three, when you are inspired in your heart. Sometimes you are inspired in your heart to give. You read 1 Kings chapter 8, verse 17. The Bible said, David said, Bible said, David, Solomon said, my father David had it in his heart. In, put it on the screen, please. 1 Kings 8, verse 17. My father David had it in his heart to build a temple for the name of the Lord, the God of Israel. He had it in his heart. God didn't tell him to give, to build. God didn't tell him to build. He was inspired to do it. So time... Understand the timing of giving. I said, what do you understand? That number one, when there's a message on giving in the house of God, anytime there's a message of giving in the house of God, make sure you give. Number two, when there's a need in the house of God. Number three, when, when you are inspired in your heart to give. And number four, when your pastor calls for giving or when there's an instruction to give. Hallelujah. You read Genesis 22, verse 2 to 3. And God said to Abraham, take now thy son, in verse 2, thy only son Isaac, whom thou lovest. Now this is God telling Abraham an instruction to give and give. Lift up your hands and give God praise. Thank him. And with your lips declare you have an unbreakable partnership with the man of God, Pastor Chris. You are the salt of the earth. Hallelujah. Every offering must be salted or else it will not be accepted. Lift up your hands. Kindly, kindly stand up and just prophesy into the new year. Announce how many SPs you will give. Speak in tongues. Declare in the name of Jesus the grace, the grace. Speak in tongues. Speak in tongues. As you're praying in tongues, you're dominating everything that you said you're going to do in the course of the year. You're dominating it. He said, unbreakable partnership. You're dominating all that you said you would do. Be the rapture of realities, the healing school, the love of networks, love of radio, inner city, Bibles, audiovisuals. Unbreakable partnership. Pray, bo pray with boldness. That boldness is what dominates everything you said you do. Because you, the Lord has made you relevant to the gospel. Relevant to the gospel. Kedaba 
Jekuba sata kabaya baru soto bosedi. Radi sata kabaya baru sata kabade so. Rado si de basete ke bose de bose de bose. Jivaro soto bosedi. Shara basata kabaya. Rado soto bosedi soto bosa. Radi soto bos. Shara basate ja. Jikuba sata kabara basete ke bose. Shara basete ke bose. Radi soto bosa. There's a dominion of your spirit. There's a dominion of your spirit. Jibaru sata kabara basete ke bose. Jibaru sete ke bose. Da basata kabara bose. Shara ba. Rado sotobose, jibaro sotobose, ra 